Um, so what does it mean to have authority as a Christian? This is something that I really struggled with for a long time in my life. Because I was saved when I was very young. So I've been a Christian for a long time, but for most of the time I've actually been very ineffective as a Christian because I had so many issues and problems in my life that God actually couldn't use me as He wanted to use me. And the reason for that was that I didn't know what my authority was and therefore I couldn't break those things in my life. So that's just what I want to talk to you about today. It's just what it means to have authority as a Christian. Now, first of all, it's important to know what your identity is in Christ. And your identity in Christ is what you have just as a result of being a child of God. In John 1 verse 12 to 13 we read, But as many as received Him, to them He um, gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in His name. Also in Romans 8 verse 16 we read that the Spirit Himself bear witness that we are children of God. And as children of God, it is important that we see ourselves as God sees us. In Romans, Jeremiah, uh, Colossians and Corinthians we read that we are His beloved, we are His heirs, we are His elect, we are holy, and we are the temple of His Holy Spirit. And these things are not something that you need um, to earn or a state of purity or a condition that you need to reach. It's just simply we are as a child of God. And if we also have that authority. In Matthew, Matthew 28 verse 18 to 20 we read that Jesus said that all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. And then he sent his disciples out with that authority. They went out, they healed the sick, they um, raised the dead and they cast out demons. And we as his children also have that same authority. And we, before Jesus went up into heaven, He said that we will do even greater things than He did here on earth. And then I started to ask myself, but why don't I see this, this in my life? Why don't I have this authority? And um, the Holy Spirit just showed me that the result of this is that I didn't see myself as God saw me. And the reason for this was that there were some open doors in my life where I allowed the devil to come in and steal from me and to lie to me. And um, you know, I just, for a long time, really just struggled with the same old sins and the same old stuff in my life. And I just couldn't get a breakthrough. And these things always just held me back. And I couldn't grow in my relationship with God. And um, my relationship almost felt like sort of a roller coaster. Like the one day I would be here close to God and the next day I would just be down in the dumps and far away from Him. I never really had that constant growth in my relationship with God. And that is exactly how the devil came to steal, kill and destroy from me. And how he prevented me from having that life of abundance, but which we read in John 10 verse 10. So how do you get to that place of exercising authority as a child of God? Well, when Jesus died on the cross, he died for all our sins. So if you confess your, confess your sin before him, you are forgiven. You are completely washed clean. You are justified and you are declared righteous. And this is things that you have to believe about yourself because God says so in, in his word. So you are forgiven. But how do you deal with these issues in your um, in your life? Well, the thing is, the answer is actually very simple. It's just Jesus. Because on your own you can do nothing. But through Christ you can do all things. So if you are in a relationship with Jesus, and you are in Him and He is in you, then you can ex exercise that same authority. Um, and if you, if you are intimate with Jesus, you will also start to hear the Holy Spirit's voice very clearly. And God will start to impart into your life um, of Himself. And in just simply by doing that, you, you, that authority in God will automatically be established in your life. Um, in Luke 10 verse um, 19, we read the following. <clears throat> Behold, I give to you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. And this is just so amazing to read this, because we read that nothing can hurt us if we are in that authority in Christ. And when I just realized that that in the Holy Spirit showed me who I was in in God um, I could just command these things and these demons and these things that was holding me back to go in the name of Jesus and it went um, because this is God's word and it's a truth and nothing can stand against that truth and that's just how I got freed of those things in my life so the important thing is just not to let anything come between you and God because the most important thing of just walking in that authority is to know God's heart and his and his plan for your life and if you're in that place of intimate relationship with Him, you will know it, what His will is for your life. And then you will be able to experience that abundant life. And whatever you speak in authority will happen. I'm Peter Conradi, and this is Zone Talks.